Hello. Yep, it's working. I have a, I have a new microphone, so I'm just testing that all the. It's levels. not new. It's borrowed. All right. It, it's a new borrow, new to me borrowed microphone. Um, what you heard there was um, a, uh, I, I belong to a drama group, and uh, another person in that drama group is Tomo. And after asking everyone else to be on my podcast, no one else agreed. So I here heard, he is. I heard there was food. Um, y- yes. Where's my Where's my food? There's There's food. Honest. It's yes. You slept with me last night. Where's my food? It's look. I called you. N- no, you didn't. You don't um, have a phone. Well, there you go then. <sighs> what were you expecting? How was I going to? I call- was expecting more, Christy. I was disappointed. That's all I'm saying. Right. Well, thanks for that. Yeah, yeah that's right. Did my first episode, you know. Merry yeah, Christmas, the... everyone. It's oh, good. yeah, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Now then, this is um. This, this is the first podcast. Uh, well, the other one was a pilot. I feel, I feel so touched being your first guest. Uh, right, the the first episode didn't go brilliantly, if I'm honest. So, I decided to call that the pilot. Who did you have on it? Lexi. Uh, um, okay, I'll just let's move on. Um, so this is a vaguely Christmas episode because it turns out I did have time to record another one before Christmas. So. Merry Christmas. Thanks. You sound really excited about Christmas. It's the monotone it gets to you. But come on. What? <laughs> you mean it's Christmas, you meant to be smiling. Look They can't see us smiling. It's a radio show. Yes, it's a radio show, but they can hear it in our voices. Can they? I they can't. Can... I can't in yours. Listen, it's Christmas. Joy. A uh, fat dude coming down a chimney. A bit rapy. Well that sounds a bit rapey. Well, he sees you when you're sleeping, Christy. You're not a fan of Christmas, are you? He knows when you're awake. That's awful. Look, awful, but true. Think, think about it. Think of all the uh, all the child, the child, t- child, ch- children. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Uh, think of them. Uh, I don't want to think of the children. Think of them listening to this podcast, and they they all got buoyed up, and then you you dash their dreams. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> Oh, and a happy new year. Now then, uh, go all right. We'll go over our re- recent events, recent okay. life, recent events. Yeah. Okay. So uh, listen up, listeners. Uh, this is what we've been up to. Uh, yesterday we saw. Well, we didn't actually see. The um, f- we, we saw two movies, basically. What? Oh yes, two movies. Yeah. Uh, one at the cinema, Seven Psychopaths, which was good. Yeah, yeah it was good. Yeah, yeah. So, had an actor I liked in it. Yeah, had good old um, Christopher Walken, who I did not know was in it. Oh so. uh, yes, yes, he's the he's the one I like. Yeah, yeah, I did like him. He's good. Yeah, um, and an alcoholic and some cars. Yeah, they had that Irish guy. He was in that one Scrubs episode. But I forget what his name is. Oh right, yeah. yeah. I, I sort of had a vague sense of knowing him, but not who he was. I have seen yeah. all of the actors. It's just I can't put my finger on what two of their names are. I think that you know we could do reviews for Netflix actually. Yeah, this, but, is, this is the best reviewing technique. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's um. Yeah. Well, the cinema was comfortable. Uh, the chairs were good. Well, we were in the kind of upper class, but all the all the ones on the upstairs are a bit better than the ones downstairs. Are they? Yeah. I've been in a downstairs I've been in, I've been to see The Hobbit and I've been to see uh, Muppet Christmas. Uh Muppet Christmas. Didn't you come to Muppet Christmas Carl? No, I couldn't I couldn't make it. Oh. Lack of funds. I'd uh, drunk too much. Oh okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Drink away your money. Mm. Yeah. Which is I hear what you do as well. Well I thought I thought that you'd be into Michael Caine, but no well. Uh, yes, I I know I have, I've got it on VHS. Okay. And VHS is almost as good as cinema. Okay. Fine. Right, so that's our conclusion of Seven Psychopaths. The VHS is almost as good as the cinema. Yeah, right? and Christopher Walken is always good in every role he's in. Yes, he's always yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. And and we go on to the second. Uh, ah, the room. The room. The yeah. infamous room, written, directed, produced, and starring Tommy Wiseau, uh, some yeah. French guy, I think. I'm, is he French? I don't know. That that accent is not human but it's uh, he could be part cat he could be technically yeah. i mean um, if he wants to cut well, his hair well, well it, it's not so much that it was awful as just deeply deeply the terrible sp- yeah um, it, it is well known as the worst film ever made or at least up there as well oh, yeah, up there i mean you know it, it had some elements which repeated them well they all repeated yeah, it yeah they all repeated themselves mm. um well so uh, review of the room. The room 
is it's it, it's something that has to be seen to be believed really yeah it's... yeah yeah go and watch the room not not don't leave now obviously mm. carry on listening to us oh i i've seen enough of the room i haven't seen it enough in sequence i mean oh, no, some I... people have actually seen it in full i can't find it on youtube whatsoever oh oh um just plumping a I'm not plumping. Uh, plugging. Plugging. What is it? Plugging. What plugging. There's also a related game, online game of the room. Uh, nothing to on, do with me. It's entertaining. On Newgrounds, made by Tom Fulp, one of the guys who made Castle Crashers back in the day. Oh wow! Yeah. You much more knowledgeable than I expected you to be. I don't know who Tom Fulp is. That's good. Uh, all right, well, that's good. Okay. But, and the game is hilarious. I say. Right. Yes, the game is hilarious. Yeah. Spoons. Graphics in this 16-bit game are better than it's in better quality than the film itself. Yeah, that's something else that seemed to be in VHS. Yeah, uh, VHS is making a comeback. It was, it was made in 2003. Yeah, that, was right. the, that was at the end of VHS. Mm. Well, I still used VHS. You mm. know, it's um, it's useful. I use it when I want a proper door open. Really. Oh, that's mean. With students, I don't have a VHS player. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Actually, we do have a TV, but it's about three inches across. Yeah, but. Uh, and I can't afford a TV license. Yeah, right. Um so there we go. That's the uh that's our review of, of two films. Yesterday I did also go to the Churro Victorian market. Was good. Churro. Churro, if you know. Oh, Churro. Yeah, I was thinking of churros. I had those in Spain. So did, so did I yesterday. So, was the market any good? Well, it wasn't as Victorian as I'd like. It was a good market. Well, there weren't any people getting beaten and little kids being shoved up chimneys. That's uh, what that, I was thinking. That's in churros anyway. But, but really, the, the staff who attended most of the stalls, they, I wanted... I wanted to buy their clothes because they were just dressed in very vintage Victorian things. Kind of steampunk-esque. It was very good. Oh. I managed to get a scarf and some plaid trousers, which are pretty awesome. So. Oh, yeah, so it's plaid trousers, yeah. I remember those, with the two well, zips that do nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, it's very very sex pistols, really, it's good. Yeah. Um, I'm sure that everyone is fascinated to hear what we're going on about at the moment. Yeah, yeah. plaid. Yeah, it's plaid, yes. <laughs> so, go out and get some plaid, people. Yes. Are we getting sponsored by plaid at all? Oh, I don't know, we'll talk about that later. No, do that like we'll talk to the scots and see what we can do oh, right, yeah, right, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so plaid is making a comeback that's yeah. christie's fashion tips right there yeah if you want to be fashionable listen to this man right here yeah i know how to wear clothes well you didn't actually get dressed this morning <laughs> yeah, yeah that was an awful thing to say i know how to, wear, I know how to look good there we go I, I wouldn't say that but what? No, look, it's radio. They don't know. Just shh. I'm telling them. Don't tell them. You that. don't have much of a. Fine. Just quiet. <clears throat> quiet. So, well, no, not too quiet. Cause otherwise, you'd be awful. Get. You're not doing very well at all. I think this. I'm doing competently, to be honest. Competently does not necessarily be good. Makes good radio. Right. Moving on. Fine. Um. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you? everyone. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Right. That message is from the Conservative Party. Yes. Yeah. No, no. Right, so we've got, um, we've got... We've kind of got the end of the world. Next Friday. Next Friday. Yeah. It's nice to have it scheduled in. Let's move on to that. Very, very festive. It's good. Uh, so, uh, I wonder, what, I wonder what will happen. Do you reckon that just all the cars will stop and everyone will be so upset about having to walk anywhere they'll cry themselves to death? Well, even though it may be physically impossible to drown in your own tears, I wouldn't put it past most people. So, um, what, what's going to actually happen? Is it an well, asteroid? Well, I doubt it will be an asteroid. I would have seen it coming by now. That's true. Then again, the Mayans, even though they predicted the end of the world, they didn't see the Spanish coming. So it's... Yeah, the Mayans, the Mayans did plan fairly far ahead. Not, f they? not far enough. Well, They were still wiped out. Well, yeah, but they plan they plan their calendars up to. I mean, I only buy a calendar about a year. You know, January mm. to get a new calendar. Sometimes mm. I don't even bother. Mm. So why were they bothering? You know, I mean, how long ago were they about? Uh, dozens of years, I'm guessing. Up upwards of ten. Up they, upwards of ten. They planned this at, at least ten years ago. We're looking at we're looking at least a while. Yeah, yeah. A, a while. At least a while. If not ages. Mm. So I'd say that. Um, they planned so far. They just thought, well, that's a nice round number. I mean, they did. They did. Let's leave it there. The, the Olympics will be in London then. They gave us a date. They didn't give us a how or why. 
Yeah, that's tr- it's true. They just mm. um, God knows what their plan was. Then again, we've lived through enough end of the worlds. I mean, it was six and a six and a six four six years ago. Oh my! Yeah, pe- people got all hyped up about that when that's a the Higgs boson machine over in Switzerland a while back. Oh, people were but... scared because it was a bl- black hole machine. Yeah, thought. but Satan's retired, and me. Anyone who's watched Little Nicky, that one Adam Sandler film, Rodney Dangerfield actually created hell. Did he? Yeah. Oh, well, he's got a good imagination on him. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't do it. Um, For those of us that remember Little Nicky. I mean, I'm struggling hard enough to think of things to come up with on this show. Oh, I've noticed. That's why you dragged me over here. Well, I, I, I didn't drag you. I didn't drag you. I tied you up and put you in the boot of a car. You don't even have a car. That's, that's what I'm surprised at. Yeah, all right. I, I, it was someone else's car. I had to pay for the taxi for my own kidnapping. <laughs> yes, I know. Well, it wasn't planned, was it? I'm not Mayan, am I? That shows you I've been wiped out. <clears throat> the end of the world. So, um, well, you've been... A, co- a common a common thought of the end of the world is the typical theme of zombies because I'm guessing with all the mass media and movies the end of the world has to involve zombies in some way some are called the zombie apocalypse and the zombies yeah. the zombies right so, well, can't we just outrun them well it depends I mean unless they're running zombies and running zombies are freaking stupid so well yeah hopefully mm-hmm. I mean to, to kill zombies I mean traditional misconceptions is to attack the just destroy the brain in any way i mean it, um, all zombies had independence if you cut off the arm the arm will keep moving there was no way to stop these things without completely incinerating them so burn yeah. baby burn is yes. the message yeah so depends um, what if, kind of zombies if they're running you can laugh at them for a bit and then run yourself if not just i have a plan okay what's your <clears throat> plan uh people of britain and other places, but mainly Britain, because yeah. I'm British, so I'm mainly concerned with And who else listens to this tribe? Um, well, there's one person in the United States, at least, apparently. Well, I mean, Lexi, who just lives down the hall. No, actually one person who's in the United States, because like... uh, we were on SoundCloud, YouTube, on my blog, and now on iTunes, it finally worked. And how many iTunes. listeners do we have with all of this? Um, uh, YouTube's got about eight. So we have upwards of uh, five. Oh, yeah. Um, there's that's one on SoundCloud, and that's the one that's in the US. Oh, that's, that's a hit. Funny. And um, you've branched out, so it's, it's good. And I think I've got five downloads from iTunes, but one of those was me checking at work. So. Oh, oh, hurrah. So, yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> you've distracted me now. <clears throat> right. Um, Christie's plan to survive the apocalypse, it, assuming it's zombies. If yeah. it's not zombies, this isn't really useful. But um, free the arsonists from prison, or if you are an arsonist and you are have not been caught yet, get your tools ready because it's your time to shine. Because you'll be able to incinerate the zombies and save us all. And also, pro tip, Americans, who actually, that one person, firearms in a zombie apocalypse will end up with you dying. Because zombies are mostly reliant on sound and guns are quite noisy. Americans are quite noisy. Okay. We've proven that with the last episode. Get a ball gag. I know a good place (laughs) in Soho, you just go into the back, ask for a man named Hank and he'll know what you're talking about. Right. Uh, But, But enough about that. Um, we have a little thing now. It's about relationships. It's called uh, Christie's Relationship Tips, but you are welcome to join in. Any tips you've got for you're not... how to keep a woman? Okay. Or, or a man. If, or a man, if you're yes. you're a female. Indeed, or if you're a gay person. You what, know, what are you saying? Or, what? I'm, I'm perfectly straight. Well, that's, got, that's, that's nothing to... Look, just... More on that later. Right. Look. Pay attention. Relationship Tips. How to keep someone. Right, so for example, you know, if you're sharing an intimate moment with your loved one, in this case a woman from my perspective, don't, um, and she goes, you know, I don't really like that, do not reply with, well, your sister does. Doesn't go down well. Well, she has a brother. If you say, well, your brother does, it's actually slightly worse, but still, it's, it really doesn't go down well. Okay, fine. Don't replace that with any other member of the family, or the family pet, indeed. Mm. Um, it just, it's, if it doesn't work. Yeah, that's fine. Right. You get that. Right. Common sense. No, not common sense. People get this wrong time and time again. What? I've seen some people who go up and go, are you my date? They go, yes, and they punch them in the face. That's not how you do it. You that's, go, that's how I do would it. you like to... Yeah, this might be why you're single. It might be why you're single too. I'm single. Christie's relationship advice for single men trying to keep relationships. Hey, I was I'm single by choice. 
it's just not my choice. Not your choice. Yeah. Yep. Uh, don't punch people in the face when you first meet them. Yeah. Uh, don't sit down at a bar with your date, look around, see a more attractive girl and say, do you reckon I could get off with her? Basic. That, yeah. That's also a point, I guess. Yeah, I know. But otherwise they get upset. Don't marry someone if you're sleeping with someone else. That's common sense. Um, or at least don't let them find out if you do do that. Yeah, if you play the field, try and be discreet about it. Yes, that's always good. Don't, for example, upload pictures on Facebook or videos on YouTube of you two together. It's going back to me, isn't it? I, I don't know. You've seen those photos. Oh, dear. Oh, well, I wish I hadn't. Okay, this also goes back to... It's one of the six things I wish I could unsee. Yes. Okay, relationships. Oh, I lost. I lost. Uh, I lost someone once by uh, by not talking enough. So always talk. Don't let them get a word in edgewise. I thought you, just, I thought you just said you lost her. Where's she gone? That's it. Um, oh, yeah, you're right. She gave me the elbow. Cheap shot. That's good. Yes, I know. Mm. You've wounded me now. I don't like you. I want you to leave. Okay. Well, that was the ultimate broadcast. We hope you've enjoyed the show. Bye. And uh, we'll... Where's the door? Well, tune in. Oh, hang on. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh, it is? Yeah, so um, um, have a wonderful time. Share the joy of being human. Eat a lot. Drink a Christmas lot. Christmas dinner's coming up. Um, oh, yeah. Christmas dinner. Yeah, good on Christmas dinner. Um, time when students don't actually cook for themselves. It's good. Okay. And um, well, students never cook for themselves, to be fair. Mm. They just sort of throw together ingredients in one pan, boil it, and that's, hope it's edible. That's still a meal. But... Um, well, anyway, right, so oh, thanks for listening. We're on... Where are we? We're on Facebook. No, we're not on Facebook. You're not? No. Well, you are. Well, I am, but the uh, ultimate you. broadcast isn't. Um, we're on uh, YouTube. The YouTubes. SoundCloud. Obviously the website, you know, the ult the ultimate broadcast dot co dot N R. Oh, I have an email and uh, I got it wrong last week. It's the ultimate broadcast at hotmail dot co dot UK because I'm British, not dot com. I got that wrong last time. A bit unprofessional. That might be why you lost a few listeners. I don't think I lost any. Yeah. I don't think I don't You didn't find them first. Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I completely failed to capture the public imagination on this one. But never mind. God bless go. you, thirteen listeners. You are you are the apple of this man's eye. Yeah, the 13 is the magic number. Mm. So, uh, cheerio, God bless, and have a wonderful holiday.